back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I mean, I have a whole different hair color now. It's been a while. I promised y'all that I was going to be more active on my socials, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. It has been so hard to make content, let alone be on my phone at all. Or if you own a phone, unless you live under a rock, I'm sure you've seen the news everywhere. So people ask why don't I post pictures anymore? Why I'm not active? I'm a super sensitive person so just seeing that I have no idea what these people are going through I could only imagine I know that it's my job to educate myself so that way I can educate my audience I forget that I am not a small account anymore I can use my voice to advocate for these kind of things and my followers to talk about topics like this I just get super sad knowing that I can't do much though I'm not as big as some of y'all's favorite artists youtubers whoever y'all may watch I know that with what I have I can say something and I can make a difference. Being silent is the worst thing that I can do. If you're trying to figure out how to donate, I have put links in the description. If you can't donate, the least you can do is be their voice. I did some brainstorming. I really wanted to make this makeup tutorial a Bella Hadid inspired makeup tutorial. So if y'all don't know what's going on with Bella Hadid right now, Bella Hadid is, I mean, other than being the most perfect goddess human ever. <laughs> Bella Hadid actually just quit modeling. I don't know if this is permanent. Prior to her doing that, a lot of brands were mad at her for speaking up. And if you don't know, Bella Hadid actually has family that has been affected by this. She is such a queen. She said that she doesn't care if she loses any modeling jobs that she will continue to speak up. Like, so queen for that. Come on. Like, imagine losing the Bella Hadid. Bella Hadid. You know, Bella has been speaking up for them, but once it becomes controversial to the brands, they get so scared. But a small amount, I barely even... Gosh, I want to eat it so bad. But anyways, she's just so inspiring. I love her. I just can't believe so many people are against her for standing up for her own people. At the end of the day, we as humans need to stand up for what's right. I'm just sitting in bed last night thinking, or would it be to make a YouTube video where I do exactly what y'all are asking? You know, I provide the makeup tutorial, except I talk about what I want to talk about on my platform. Because at the end of the day, we are actively living through a humanitarian crisis. People have no food, no water, resources that we need on an everyday basis. Well, it's hard to talk about, hard to hear, but it's not something to ignore. If you can't donate or use your voice, you can also boycott big companies. These companies are seeing huge effects. Disney Plus, Starbucks, McDonald's. I know that sounds hard for a lot of people. Oh wait. Okay, like I was saying, I know that sounds hard for a lot of people, but there's so many different streaming services and places you can get your drinks at. You can make your coffee, matcha at home. You don't need Starbucks. There's so many ways I can keep going. Just if you're like me, don't shut down and feel helpless. There's a lot that you can do. I'm trying to make sure I blend this in. But yeah, there was just a point where I'm like, okay, I can donate and I can use my platform. What else can I do? Mm. Last but not least, I just thought of another one. You can call and bother your representatives every single day if you want to. Demand a ceasefire. Flooding their lines really helps. All right, looked like a glazed donut. Y'all are more than welcome to use this comment section to drop links for more resources to help. I do apologize that I haven't been saying any of the product names. I can just put them on the screen here for y'all because I know I'll be using the description for all of the links to help out. Dude, Bella Hadid just has this super sculpted face and I'm gonna see if I can accomplish that with contour. <laughs> My camera's so bright right now. By the way, this is not matcha. I actually made a kale smoothie and it's so good. Soon I want to make a hygiene video, girl tips, and maybe I'll include it in that video, the recipe, because it's probably the best thing I've ever made. I'm gonna put the blush as high as I can. I think 
something in the center of my face. Oh, I'm just going to brighten up my inner eye. Dude, I don't even know if y'all heard. Not only did Bella Hadid quit, she moved to Texas. <gasps> So, I don't know. I could be out here grocery shopping and run into Bella Hadid, I guess. I just know that I'm the type of fan that wouldn't even say anything at all. I wouldn't want to make her feel uncomfortable. And I know that she's already probably trying to avoid being noticed. I would just admire from a distance. It's Bella Hadid. <laughs> but chances are very low that she moves exactly where I'm at. Hopes are very high that she moved exactly where I'm at. Now that I got my brows done, it's so much easier to so much easier to fill them in. Okay, glow. Picked up this pack of powder puffs. I'm gonna open it up so I can finish baking in the bright spots and I'm going to go in with my foundation powder. Oh, they're so soft. kill the lights behind me because it's messing with the video maybe if i go in with my blush before i put on the foundation powder it'll look like super filtered photo ready wiping off any baking I know she looks pretty glowy in that photo, so so this is just the base. We're gonna go back to the inspo, okay? So, should probably be throwing her away. No, you don't have to throw away y'all's products just because we're boycotting them. Y'all just don't buy any more from that company. This is one of those ones that shouldn't even have in my makeup bag anymore. If you already bought it, you bought it. Looks like I'm gonna have to get a different bronzer though because I actually do promote these products. I'm gonna use this brown shade for my nose contour. Bringing this up to my brow bone. For highlight, I definitely don't have to use that brand because I have a million highlights. We're gonna go in with Define. Oh. She especially has it on her brow bone. Wow. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use this new tool I got. First, I'm gonna. Put on like a light tan brown, diffuse it out with like a smoky brown. It's pretty cute. I'm putting a lot of trust into this thing right now. We add some dark brown now. Okay, then she has. It looks like a gold or a shimmer on the inside, so... I should wipe my lips first. Don't be crusty. Creamy. Just matches her lip color perfect. I'm gonna need to find a matte lip for this. Y'all know I only own glosses and balms and oils. Um, but let's move on to lashes for now. You already know. Eee. I'm just trying to decide which style I want to do. These are more subtle. These are so cute. 
But then, y'all know my favorite is always gonna be Coquette. Nobody is better than the original. The way I'm gonna need to wrap this video up because the lighting is getting so bad in here. Oh yeah. So I ended up not putting on falsies. I feel like she's not wearing falsies. Mascara kind of does the job. I honestly love how this came out. And it was inspired by the queen herself. Let's eat. to find a white top and some blue shorts which I know I have and I can do some recreation photos if you stuck around for this whole video thank you so much for watching I love you so 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 much and I'll see you on the next video